Well, hi everyone, Engineer Liu here. So this won't be any sort of a more technical focus video. This will be more like a talk, a chat, if you will. Uh, so I won't get into any details about technical stuff like um, C programming tutorials and uh, some uh, remarks. But uh, yeah, I uh, would like to talk more about, uh, if you will, uh, some give you some career advice. Like, so as you can see, I'm doing this uh, videos on the about C programming language, getting to detail about it. And uh, people often ask me like, um, uh, do you have any jobs for actually for C programming programmers in 20, 2023? 2022 uh, uh, and then, then 20s there's like uh, is there any job uh, good job market at all for uh, C, a C developer so so should you learn uh, C programming in 2023 well uh, to answer that um, I would say you have um, many ways to uh, to to take a look upon it because well, C, uh, if you learn C, first of all, uh, if you learn C, you have uh, a good basis for learning, like uh, the majority the majority of uh, uh, major languages are used in the today's IT market, like uh, C strongly influenced uh, C++, which in turn influenced uh, Actually, C++ is a superset of C, but uh, it's considered an entirely different language, actually. But it influenced uh, C++, Java, JavaScript, PHP, uh, Python to some extent. But Python is, it has a slightly different uh, type of syntax. But like uh, JavaScript, you have the curly braces uh, thing. Uh, sorry, sorry, curly curly brackets uh, thing, also semicolons, pretty much like a PHP, Java, uh, also a Microsoft C Sharp, which is, yeah, uh, Microsoft Java, right? <laughs> but we call it yeah, C, C Sharp. So yeah, if you know C, uh, it's a good starting point before getting to uh, object-oriented programming. So. Uh, yeah, it's good to master before you get into object-oriented programming features like you have in Java, JavaScript, uh, or C++. It's good to master procedural programming, which is a major uh, programming paradigm of C. And if you're if you're um, master this, uh, you master um, most of C features like uh, dynamic memory allocation pointers, which are explicit in some languages and not so in others. Like they're pretty explicit uh, and used in C++. But for example, Java, they are not so apparent because uh, you know Java has uh, garbage collection uh, implemented as well as C sharp. So in JavaScript, but. Uh, you get a good, a more you get a better grip of what is happening um, behind uh, the lines. Okay, so we get a more understanding of how uh, memory works, how memory allocation works, how pointers work, because um, even if they are not explicitly there in JavaScript and Java, uh, you are working with points. For example every time you call uh, let's say you're creating a class in javascript and then you're using the this keyword this the keyword this comes actually from c plus and it's a pointer so if you understand that uh our, you get a very much better understanding of uh, javascript and java and uh, also, uh, besides that, uh, the notion of uh, passing arguments by reference or by value, right? Uh, take, for example, Python, okay? So Python, we have objects, 
uh, data types which are passed by value are orders by reference. So typically, for the most classic example, is if you're working with um, arrays, right? So you pass an array for a function and you modify this array inside the function. You're not actually copying this array to the function. You are uh, passing it by reference, by its address in memory, by its pointer. So if you have this notion from C program language, it all becomes much more easy and straightforward for you to understand and uh, eventually write a, a better code, right? So yeah, that is, there's this way, this uh, this topic, uh, this aspect of uh, main, uh, main advantage of why you should learn how to program in C in 2023. Besides that, uh, there are several other, there are fields actually, there are job market markets that you can actually work as a C developer, okay? So the first of all that I would uh, mention here is mostly uh, legacy code, okay? So it's, it's code like a enterprise uh, level code that today would probably be written in Java or I don't know, Python, Gola, Golang. But uh, it's, like I said, legacy, so it's sometimes very old uh, code bases. And uh, for some reason, the software architects uh, think, thought that uh, C was a good option because it was fast. They, they, they were dealing with uh, banking systems, financial systems, financial transactions, so they need lo uh, really low latency. Okay, so actually, for most cases, they end up using C instead of C, but in some cases, they they opted for C. So there's this case here. So if you want to um, work as a C developer, you, you will find plenty of opportunities in markets such as um, telecommunications, uh, banking. So they still have a lot of systems that run in C. Um, also some mixed C and C++. So if you want to get into that type of market, it's, a, it's good to know some C++, like the basics of class and abstract data types you, uh, actually you won't you won't need to know that uh, design patterns for example because uh, usually uh, this type of system doesn't implement but it's also a good uh, it's also good to know that kind of knowledge and well there we go um, one uh, legacy code right C uh, besides that you have um, uh, of course embedded systems right so we're working with microchips, uh, I don't know, Arduino, or Ra Raspberry Pi, and uh, all sorts <clears throat> or of embedded, embedded systems, which use uh, low level language, right? Low level language in the sense that uh, they are more closely, uh, you have more con control over uh, memory management and uh, aspects like uh, of assembly language. C is essentially assembly for, I don't know, a human normal being, right? Because assembly can be assembly language because you know, they're a family of language. They can be pretty uh, complex to learn. So in terms of speed, uh, C practically matches assembly. So yeah. So you have this family of language like C and assembly and most recently Rust, which are being used for embedded systems and low level programming in general. So like you can use a C to program a microwave oven. We can, you can use C to program a elevator. Okay, so yeah, you can use to pretty much everything. It's very lightweight. You have uh, pretty much control over everything. And then um, there's a, a, a so we have legacy code um, and bad systems and of course uh, operating systems like uh, Windows operating system kernel it's written in C. You have uh, Unix the old Unix which originated uh, Open BSD and then the, also Linux all the Linux distros are uh, 
the Linux kernel itself is written in C, so you have a good op opportunity there to start working, uh, for example, as an open source developer. And then eventually, uh, I don't know, a company like Red Hat notices you, see your contributions to the kernel, and then you can start working with the developing their their own the Linux distro, start develop developing uh, kernel modules. Uh, which, uh, which by the by, by the way, uh, they're starting to use. Uh, recently, they started to use Rust uh, in the kernel. So, it's, if you if you're learning C, if you're getting to work as a C developer for operating systems, it's uh, good to take a look at Rust. Start learning Rust because it has a, it's a, a growing community of developers, and that's a very robust language. So yeah, that's I would say that these are the three major uh, job markets for a C developer. Of course, there aren't many of them. There are many um, positions, open positions, like for example, a JavaScript. Like uh, there are tens of thousands always of positions available for JavaScript uh, front-end developers. Uh, uh, Python also you have Java. Java is a, is a, uh, a language that you know people. Uh, you, if you if you're a Java developer, you always uh, it's pretty much uh, safe to say that you always have a job. Also, um, yeah, Python have uh, many positions open. Uh, much uh, the majority of them uh, my machine learning position, but also backend web development like a REST for APIs and so and such. But um, so yeah, you have uh, less uh, positions available for C developers. However, uh, because of uh, its complexity, like from pointers and memory allocation and that sort of thing, people get scared of C. People people are scared of C. People are afraid. They they don't feel. Uh, they don't feel you could say. Um, Confident using C because it's very easy to write buffer overflows, to write memory leaks, uh, no diff pointer to reference. So you have all sorts of vulnerabilities that you can crash your, co your code and make it unsafe, right? So people, they, there is this. Some developers uh, have this movement of trying to avoid C, right? So because of that, uh, you don't have actually pretty much uh, too much um, uh, com competition between uh, other developers. So uh, when there is an open position for a C developer, usually you have very few candidates. So it's very easy to get um, um, to get notice between them because you know very people have a good um, a good skill but uh, very few people have a good um, uh, have mastered the C programming language so you can pretty much it's pretty much safe say um, accurate say that uh, if you're a skilled C developer you have mostly Guaranteed to you are most guaranteed to have uh, obtain a job working. So yeah. So to answer my initial question, uh, is it worth learning C? Uh, yes. So C is a basis for many different languages. It will help you uh, understanding and developing for other programming languages. And uh, yes, you sh it's worth learning C in 2023. You, there is still a very solid uh, job market for C. So for those of you that, uh, like me, <laughs> like uh, have a good feeling, um, uh, consider C to be a good language, would like to, like, like to work with C, I uh, would. I uh, encourage you to pursue on your choice and go for it if you like it. Um, 
you and your, and your dedicated developer and uh, likes uh, to deal with uh, pointers say go for it go learn C and yeah so that's it uh, guys people I uh, hope you like this video hope I got you interested in C and uh, got you motivated to study C in 23 so see you next time and don't forget to like subscribe and comment all this and share and bye.